Okay, how's it going guys? This is Brad with Best Price Nutrition and today I'm not going to do a flavor review, I'm not going to do a product review. I'm going to go over a question that we actually get a lot in our brick and mortar stores. We have stores in the Chicagoland area and I go to them pretty frequently and one thing that I hear a lot is a lot of usually older people will come in looking for arginine still for a nit nitric oxide booster. So we start with nitric oxide. What nitric oxide is, is something that your body uses for a ton of processes, but the thing that it's most known for is vasodilation. So what that is, is your blood vessels, if they're vasoconstricting, then they're tightening up. And that's actually what happens when you take a lot of stimulants. Um, so oddly enough, a lot of pre-workouts have arginine or citrulline, and uh, they kind of counteract with the fact that nitric oxide will vasodilate them, it will open them up. <clears throat> And why would you want your blood vessels to open up? Um, one thing is that it will lower your blood pressure. It's just kind of the math behind it, more or less. If your blood vessel is this big and you have X amount of fluid going through it and it's pushing on the walls, if you open up your walls and you have the same amount of fluid going through, your blood pressure goes down. So if you have high blood pressure, you know, follow your doctor's orders and everything, but something you want to look into is maybe taking an arginine or citrulline supplement. Um, another thing that people want to use nitric oxide for is in the gym, it gives you a better pump. So if your blood vessels are widened up, you have way more blood flow going through them, way more blood going to your muscles, you're going to get a better pump. You're also going to get more athletic performance as well. Um, another thing that it can be used for, uh, this is kind of specific to guys, is erectile dysfunction. So a lot of times um, it can be a mental thing for guys and that's something you'll have to get over for whatever other reason. But if it's a physical thing, something that can help is blood flow. So if you have you know, really tight blood vessels, you're not getting that much blood flow everywhere. Somewhere that you specifically want blood flow, um, it's gonna open up your blood vessels everywhere. So you're just gonna get more blood flow to where you need it to go. And a little side note, if you take citrulline or arginine, they're both gonna do what you want it to do, one better than the other. If you take either of those and you stack it with pycnogenol, PYC, NOG, ENOL, if you stack those two things together, it's a really, really common, very proven, uh, I don't wanna say cure, but it can help a lot of guys with ED. I think the studies show it's something like 70% of people see positive changes after one or two months. So the, the main point of this video, that was that's nitric oxide. Um, those are some of the reasons you might want to increase your nitric oxide. Now, the difference between arginine and citrulline. So arginine is what people have been using for a long time to increase nitric oxide, because it does increase nitric oxide. The issue is that it's not as effective as L-citrulline. So why is that? Because if you look at the pathway to nitric oxide from arginine, you get arginine, you get, what is it? Um, you get L-arginine, turns into N-hydroxy-L-arginine to L-citrulline to nitric oxide. So if you take arginine, the reason that it's not as effective as L-citrulline is because arginine is used for a lot of processes in your body. So by the time it gets down the line to turn into nitric oxide, it's already been broken away and used for a bunch of other things. If you take L-citrulline, it's the first precursor to nitric oxide. So it makes it further into your body before it turns into nitric oxide. So you just get more nitric oxide. Um, another thing is that because arginine is used by so many processes and it breaks down a lot, you actually can get some GI distress if you take like 10 grams or more. And you need a lot of L-arginine to get the same effect of L-citrulline. L-arginine, they've used pretty high doses before. You don't need to do a high dose. The highest dose you would ever need to do of L-citrulline probably six grams, anything more than that, I don't think you'd see any additional benefit. So when you're looking at, and I've got, you know, L-arginine caps, 700 milligrams each, and then I've got citrulline malate at two grams. The, if you're gonna buy individual ingredients, it doesn't really matter how much the cap is, how much it is in each serving, because you're gonna wanna get to, I'm not even gonna talk about arginine, because citrulline is just better. You're gonna wanna get to three to six grams of L-citrulline or eight grams of citrulline malate. Um, I'll get a close-up on this, but if you can't see it, citrulline malate always says two to one on there. And that's because if you take 1.75 grams of citrulline malate, you'll actually get one gram of L-citrulline because there's going to be 0.75 grams of malic acid bound to the L-citrulline. Um, some people think that citrulline malate is actually better than just straight L-citrulline because you get some hydration benefits from the malic acid. Um, I prefer L-citrulline. 
uh, there's really no reason. I've just always thought, you know, just get the pure form of what you're trying to get, right? Um, <clears throat> so, end of, end of the day, I would say if you're trying to find something to increase your nitric oxide for blood pressure, for ED, for athletic performance, for a pump, just go with citrulline. It is going to give you less GI distress, probably no GI distress. Um, you're going to get better benefits out of it, and you need less of it to get the final outcome that you want. Um, and I think that's about it. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Those are usually the talking points that I will discuss with people in the store. Um, I try to get as many people away from arginine as I can. Some people are pretty steadfast on what they want to do, which is fine. If you use arginine and it works for you, that's great. I'll say try out citrulline. You may like it more. Um, and it's really not that much more expensive when you get down to the price per dose. So if you guys have any questions about what I talked about, if you think I didn't go in depth enough, if you want to know anything else, please leave a comment below and I would be happy to answer it. And also um, let us know any other topics that you want us to do as well. We've done quite a few videos in the past where we will you know, show you the comment of someone that asked us a question. And we will respond to that comment and answer the question in the entire video. So let us know what you want to see next. All right. Thanks.